Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Harry and David Moose Munch coffees for you. I have the Pumpkin Harvest. I have Pumpkin Spice. We found both of these at Home Goods. This is a large box. This is 42 cups. So it was $14.99 for 42 cups. And mine was $6.99 for um, 18 cups. We have found um, Home Goods to be the cheapest place to buy this Harry and David Moose Munch coffee and the only place around us that carries it. Uh, they don't have it at Walmart, Kroger, Target, Meyer, any Zero. of the places we ordinarily shop. Um, I've never even seen it in like Whole Foods or Fresh Market, no place like that. Um, we have bought it off Amazon before and it wasn't a bad price. It wasn't bad. So like when I've gotten desperate, when I haven't been able to find it at Home Goods, I have ordered it off of Amazon um, because it is the the chocolate peanut butter is my my very very favorite. But I have not found a flavor yet that I have not liked. I, I don't think we've reviewed them on the channel, but they have. Um, maple they have vanilla uh they maple walnut. maple walnut and they i have worried that the walnut or that the maple would be too overpowering too strong and that i wouldn't like it or that it would have like a chemical flavor it doesn't at all it is absolutely wonderful they know exactly what they're doing um it's terrific now let me just say this i know i'm talking a lot but um they do have um in ollie's they do sell a Harry and David coffee. However, it does not say Moose Munch on it. And it needs to like say, the original. yes, it needs to say Moose Munch on it. I've never had the Harry and David coffee. It might be absolutely delicious, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about specifically the Moose Munch. Um, I just, I love it and it's my very favorite. So I will go out of my way to get it because I like it so much. That's why I'm willing to order it off of Amazon. So we found these uh, pumpkin harvest and pumpkin spice and home goods. And I, honestly, I wasn't too keen on buying huge boxes of it because uh, 42 cups of coffee is a lot to go through if you don't care for something. But this was the only way that I could get this. Uh, they did and they not, did sell the pumpkin spice in the bigger and the smaller. Yes. So, but this I could not get at least our home goods. Yeah, your ours. home goods might have the 18 right. cups. Um, I looked for this online and could not find it anywhere. I couldn't find it on the Harry and David website. Right there on their own website, I couldn't find it. Couldn't find this anywhere. So, if you're interested in it, you're going to have to look at Home Goods. And, and I'm sorry if you don't have a Home Goods around you. So, we're going to try the Pumpkin Harvest first. We <coughs> Have you stirred these? No. Okay, we should probably stir it. We have put sugar in each one of these cups because... We always use sugar. We're not uh, it's sweetener, but a sweetener, sweetener package. We're not black coffee people. We like sweetener. Um, so we're gonna try it without any creamer, and then we're gonna add some creamer to it because that's how I drink mine. I drink mine with sugar and creamer every single day. So this is pumpkin harvest. What does it smell? What does it smell? That just really smells like just coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can get a really good strong aroma of kind of what you what to expect, but <clears throat> tastes like coffee. I mean, there's something there, but there's something there. This is going to be a hard review to do. <laughs> um, it tastes like a because a spiced coffee, but I don't know. Yes. <clears throat> Yes, like a, yes, like a spiced coffee, but it doesn't taste specifically like cinnamon. I mean, I think it has cinnamon in it. Or nutmeg and all the pumpkin spices. But I think that's going to be pumpkin spice. I think that's going to have all your pumpkin spice flavors. This, I don't, I think the, that one I'm expecting to be a lot stronger than this right. one. Um, it just tastes spiced. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't really get, I wouldn't call that pumpkin-y or okay. harvest. I love it with creamer. Love it with creamer. Creamer gives it a, literally a creamy 
um, flavor. It still just tastes like coffee to me. It's, it's, it's got something in it, but it's just coffee. Yes, it's not as strong, I don't think, as the <coughs> other flavors that I buy. Mm -mm. It's not bad. It's not bad coffee. And I don't drink flavored coffees, really, but, but that's not bad. It's a very, very, very lightly spiced coffee. coffee. Mm -hmm. It's very lightly spiced. Yeah. So, and do I regret getting this? No, I don't, because I will drink all of this because I still like it. It still is a... It's a mild coffee. It's very smooth. It is a smooth it's coffee. not bitter. So, like Kevin's coffee, I don't touch that. <laughs> I can't go near it. It, um, for me, it's uh, it's harsh and in your face, and I'm gonna beat you over head the head and wake you up in the morning coffee. This is not like that. This is very smooth. It is and it's like a lady's coffee. Uh, so I like that quite a bit. Okay, now right. this is the pumpkin spice, which pumpkin spice is like cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, ginger, cloves, it, it has those in it. Like a pumpkin pie almost. So I would expect this to be a little stronger. It is stronger. It's the coffee itself is strong. I don't know that the spice is strong. I actually don't taste the spice. Yeah, I get spice in there. Definitely. Do you? Oh yeah. That's what makes it seem stronger. Because it, to me it's like that... Mm -hmm. the, it's the ginger and, and uh, cloves and stuff like that is what makes it seem stronger. Mm -hmm. It has a harsher flavor to it. I, I don't care for it without creamer. I don't like most coffee because it is, creamer. Because it is harsh. So I'm hoping that... I think you'll like this better. You think I'll like? I'll end up liking this one better? No, I think you'll like it better with creamer. Oh. Not necessarily better than the other one. Right. And I don't know why they don't sell this. I mean, it's... I guess if more people bought it, it would be in more mainstream stores. Uh, but it, but who's going to buy it if it's not in the mainstream stores? Exactly. <laughs> you got to get most there. People, yeah, there. you have to get there. Because most people aren't going to want to order it from Amazon, I don't think. <coughs> Better. Oh, yeah. But it would be. Yes, I'll absolutely drink that with the creamer. It doesn't taste that much different than that. It doesn't. I think they're so, that's why I'm not picking out, although. There is a little more seasoning in there. Yes, without creamer, that had a harshness that I, I did not get that harshness from the pumpkin harvest. Mm -hmm. um, and you're saying it's all those flavors, but I I, think it's the season. I've spice. had other pumpkin spice coffee that reminded me more of oh, a yeah. traditional pumpkin yeah, spice. Definitely, this definitely doesn't have those overpowering pumpkin no, spices. No, it doesn't. So, like, um, yeah, we've had other brands, um, and those taste more like pumpkin spice because I'm going to be honest, once you put the creamer in there, I don't think it tastes like pumpkin anything. No, it doesn't. It, it really doesn't. Really, it just tastes a little different flavor of coffee. Yeah. It's, it's a flavored something. Just a creamy coffee. You can't yeah. pick out any flavors Pepper. like that cinnamon or that's nutmeg or clove. Or just, you don't pick out any of those flavors. It yeah. doesn't burn your throat or anything like that. I it's agree. just a nice, pleasant coffee. So, so if you're looking for something pumpkin spice, this is probably something you I wouldn't, wouldn't get, Yeah, I wouldn't get this yeah. one um, for a pumpkin spice. I wouldn't. Um, yeah. Now, will I drink these? Yes. I will absolutely drink these. Uh, these will be, you know, when, when I want smooth, creamy coffee, I will absolutely drink these. So I don't regret getting them, but next year I'll know not to get them again. Not to be like, oh, I've got to have those because it's fall and it's pumpkin season and I have yeah. to have them because they don't really taste like pumpkin. No, they don't remind you of fall. They don't remind you of fall. No, I yeah. don't think so. Either. But it is still really good quality it's good coffee. Good quality coffee. Good coffee. And I, I can't recommend it more. And at Home Goods, they not only sell the K cups, they yeah. sell the bags. Uh, These bags. are the K. Oh, that's what I was gonna show you. These are the K cups. Yeah. So just to let you know. Yeah, they sell the bags because, like, my aunt, my aunt doesn't have a K cup machine, and she's like, I would really like to try that coffee, but I don't have a K cup machine. Well, they they do sell it in bags. Some, some flavors. Some. Yeah, they some didn't bags. have pumpkin in the uh, bags, but they had like I'm thinking like the maple, like Something the vanilla. Like that. They had like that. that in a bag, and you just have to if your Home Goods doesn't have it. 
check back the next week because we've been in there before and they haven't had it at all. Mm -hmm. And then we came back a week later and they had filled up it. again. Yeah. yeah, so they get a shipment like once a week. So just check back uh, because it's an excellent price for a good quality product. I really like it. So I hope you enjoyed getting to hear about them and thanks for watching.